know it. He he knows that. Oh, okay. He always gets right behind you. Really you can cool. share the uh, roof here. Huh? If you share the roof here. Oh, I'm trying to be mobile okay. and get move around a bit. I'm gonna go over here for a second. And show I got still time lapse and video, so. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you have plenty of lightning in the back. Plenty of lightning in the back. <laughs> Adds drama to it. Yeah. Considering that lightning rod they got up there. Because the outriggers are on thick metal plates. this one time after a train wreck. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different then. Well, that was quite an operation. They had cranes probably twice the size of that. <coughs> and um, they had to lift it out of a, an embankment. It had gone down in the, a hole 50 feet or better. Yeah. And they had to lift it back up. And of course, some of the trains, they just cut them off because yeah. they were so damaged. Now we're pulling the trucks and you know, they blew up and everything. So oh they yeah, the train we wreck over the grandpa's. Yeah, but where we lived in Pennsylvania at the time. Oh, they're gonna put it at the nearest spot and push it down the ring. Just like setting them on the little trains, but <laughs> just bigger hands. Just a lot bigger hands. Oh, this thing. So, so well, once they set it on the rail, they may use the crane to drag it forward a little bit, center it. Uh -huh.
Thank <laughs> you. 